morning, SK. I'm Bailey Burbank. And I'm Emily Real. Hey, Bailey, what do you say we get through the news today? Toga there. That joke was ancient. How about you start us off with some general news? For sure. All students and staff, if you didn't already know, this week is Spirit Week, and this Friday is the Winter Pep Assembly that will be at the end of the school day. With salad dressings being the theme this week, tomorrow is Thousand Islands, so get out those hula skirts and floral tops for Hawaiian Day. And Friday, with a little change, is Avatar Day, the Four Nations. Freshmen, you are Earth, so pull out those green and brown clothes. Sophomores, you are gray and white, representing air. Juniors, we have water, so get your blue clothes ready. And seniors, you're on fire, wearing red and orange. So, your school fried, SK. Oceanography and earth science classes are making ocean floors and shoeboxes. They need shoeboxes with lids. If you have any, you can send them down to room 228. If you would like to attend Jostin's Leadership Conference on February 9th, AB Day, at Washington High School, please sign up by this Friday in room 102 during non-class time. The cost per student is $20 and you get a lunch and a t-shirt. Tolo is coming up on February 10th. Buy your tickets early and save. Starting January 22nd through the 26th, tickets will be $10 with ASB and $15 without. January 29th through February 2nd, tickets are $13 with ASB and $18 without. And the week of TOLO, February 5th through the 9th, tickets are $15 with ASB and $20 without. Don't wait last minute to get your tickets. Sophomores and juniors, are you thinking about beginning Running Start next year? There will be an information meeting for you and your parents next Thursday, January 18th at 210 in the main theater. The director from Olympic College's program will be presenting. This is an excellent opportunity to find out if Running Start may be for you. Sophomores and juniors, applications for the multi-care nurse camp is now open online and closes March 2nd. This is highly competitive. Only the first 225 complete applications will be considered, so early submittal is highly recommended. 100 students will be accepted. See the Career Center for more info. Hobby, ap hobby applications are due to the Career Center this Friday. Interviews work will occur next Wednesday beginning at 2.30 p.m. in room 102. Switching into club news, the club's meeting today are Key, Ballroom and Swing Dancing, Model United Nations, ASB, YBTJ, Speech and Debate Team, and French Club. And tomorrow, Knowledge Bowl, Spanish, German, Art, FCCLA, Illuminate Bible Club, Lifesavers, DECA, Campus Life, Graphics, Journalism, Ukulele Club, Ceramics, and Magic and Trading Guard Games will meet. It's never too late to go out and join a club. It's also never too late for sports. Sports results have not gotten back to us, but let's get into the schedule of events. Today, the bowling team takes on Emerald Ridge at High School Joy Bowl. Tomorrow, ladies bowling has their senior night against Olympia High School at High Joy Bowl at 3. And men's swim and dive makes a splash in the pool against Olympia at Olympia High School at 3.30. With this being said, the swim team has come to a halt with our pool issues. Here's a video for a closer look. With the South Kitsap High School pool now closed, the South Kitsap High School swim team has been practicing at Olympic High School. When they were practicing here at South, they were working hard to ready themselves for the long season ahead of them. We got a chance to speak with Captain Troy Conrad about his goals for the season. My goals as an individual this season is to make it to state for a relay team. As a team, I think that a good goal would be to have everybody improve and everyone just get better at swimming and enjoy what they're doing. Captain Andre Obinel had some input on why he enjoys swim. What I like about swimming is everyone's working hard, everyone's improving, watching everyone grow and becoming a better swimmer. South Kitsap High School swim coach Nicole Miller added some information on what separates an average swimmer from an excellent swimmer. I think the difference between an average swimmer and an excellent swimmer is most often experience and also internal dedication and drive and motivation. Um, I think that really makes the difference is if they really want it and they really love it. She also gladly discussed her goals for the team this season. We want to be able to do an excellent flip turn by the end of the season or um, just as a team, scoring more pro points and improving throughout the season is basically our goal. Even though the pool has been closed, the South Kitsap High School swim team still has a high hopes for their 2017 to 2018 season. Good luck to our swim team for the rest of the season. Moving on to career news, Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium is looking for responsible, dedicated, enthusiastic teen volunteers for this summer's zoo guides. The application is available online, so check in the Career Center for more information. 
Juniors and seniors, here's your opportunity to take the Aki Placer right here at SK. Pay a $10 fee at the ASB window to get registered. Space is limited. The test is next Wednesday at 2.15 in the library. You must apply for admission at OC before you take the test. See the friendly Career Center staff with any questions. Seniors, the Douglas County Fire Department is recruiting for their resident firefighter program. Applications are currently open and successful candidates will start in August after graduation. See the Career Center for more information on this amazing opportunity. Seniors, you are encouraged to apply for the Washington State Army Scholarship. The application is now open through February 28th. You must also send an official transcript and file your FAFSA by March 7th. See your Career Center or your counselor if you need more information. Speaking of scholarships, the Kiwanis of Port Orchard Scholarship is now open. They award eight scholarships of up to $3,500 each. The application is on the washboard.org only and is due April 9th. Well, that looks like all we have for you. Have a howling Wednesday, Sal. Oh!